All right, I had some people asking me about a 3D grid and a tractor points. So I just wanted to come in and show you this guy. So let me preview. I have a grid of points that's actually originally the grid is this guy, right? So it's a straight grid. And then it gets affected by a couple of attractors. Um, the first one is this point. So if I preview this point, right, you can see that point right there. And if I come in and move that guy, you'll see these this grid update based on where that point is, right? It's going to move less um, closer to the point and then further away it's going to move more. And I've got it moving in the X, Y, and Z. You can do it however you want. Um, and then we have another one that does it by this curve here. So the same set of points starts there, right? And this curve kind of runs through the middle of it. And what happens with this guy is this. Right, wherever it's near the curve, it moves the least, and then when it gets further away from the curve, it moves more. So, if I come in and pick that curve and kind of move it around, you'll see these points readjust. Oops, that was the individual point, but you'll see the points readjust around it. And then you can do whatever you want, like there's the pipes, you know, that are going through. So you can do whatever 3D function you want to do after that. Um, so that's it. So let's take a look at how this guy works. Um, let me turn this guy off. All right. So um, so basically, we'll go through the point one. Um, I just made a rectangular grid and took the points and made a linear array of those. All right. So you get a 3D grid. And then I came in and just simplified the tree which is not that big of a deal. And then if we look at the attractor point, I placed a point in Rhino out here, right? There it is. So if I move that point back in, who knows where I'm moving it. It's kind of hard to move in 3D. And that takes the closest point and compares these points to that point and gives a set of distances. So the distances come out, you know, through the grid from that point to every point in that three-dimensional grid gets pushed through, right? And then from that amount, I flatten it and get the bounds. So I get the top and the bottom. So the smallest amount is 1.2 and the largest is 8.7 in this case. And then I remap those numbers um, using 0 and 2.9 so instead of 1 to 8 it goes from 0 to 2.9 and you can see the difference in the values so it just scales all the values down right and then I take those distances and I start moving the points right so here is let me go ahead and get rid of the original original guy so then I just start moving points in the X Y and Z right so here's uh, the move in the X right so it's just moving in the X at this point and then it gets moved in the X and the Y here so if we look at the preview right now it's getting moved in the X and the Y and then finally it gets moved in the Z right so uh, you know this is just an example of how it could work um, so finally you can come in right and adjust the how much it moves so woo now it's really moving away now it's back to zero zero or you can you know adjust the domain of how it moves so that's kind of up to you okay so that's how it works I'll post um, the other one works on a curve which is very similar um, basically these are just split down the middle one's a point and one's a curve so you can kind of play with this one too. I'll post this video and then also under the video you can access a photograph, you know, an image of the definition.